My mind hadn't gone there. Clearly yours has. Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> Woo! You read my mind. <laughs> pressure can harm or it can inspire you. I've had my own fair share of pressure at 19 winning a coveted title. As a 19-year-old, I went to Man United. Within a year, I was playing in front of 80,000 people every single week. Two countries a week, sometimes on different continents. 36 countries in the year. I had to deal with jet lag, meeting, obviously heads of state talking about politics that maybe I didn't understand at that age. I've been in cup finals where you walk out, there's 100,000 people around you, and great players suddenly start to freeze. I was under great pressure, and I needed to find ways in which I could cope with that. It's the same pressure. So why do some people fall apart and others thrive? Now, I guarantee you this much, if you start your day by thinking of those three things, you will arrive at work with positive attitude, ready to deal with the issues. You will therefore be more successful. That is the power of gratitude. Consciously we make decisions, whether it's a move, change of a job, and it's still scary, even though you've made that decision, right? But reframing our next principle is really about taking something that scares you, you've been fearful of, but without changing the facts, being able to find something exciting and positive about that. And what they say is it's one thing being clever, it's more important to be emotionally intelligent. So how do women spend that little bit extra time just focusing on what's around them, on the people who work with them? Because you'll get more from them by being able to do that. You can improve your emotional intelligence by learning from the ladies in your life how to observe that. And the moment you do that, you become a better business person, which means you can make more money. Our next principle is adaptability. And I think you'd agree with me that we don't keep learning something, we don't keep growing, we fall behind. One of the keys to success is to be aware of your surroundings, to keep on top of, of everything. And that makes us more successful people in life. Life is busier today than it's ever been. You need to raise your energy. There's only two simple ways you can do it. Exercise and food. That is how you raise your energy. So will you think of one thing you're going to commit to right now that's going to change your exercise or your diet? And you're going to tell the person next to you, or... With words, we'd like you to think of a word or a phrase that has impacted your life in some way. Positive or negative. Positive or negative. Tell the person next to you, off you go. It's solid business principles that we guarantee you will help you in business in the years to come.